Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will share to you different exam questions in NP1. I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Then I will give the correct answer, rationale, and a short discussion. This is already our part 6. Enjoy! Question number The correct answer is letter A. Stay with the patient for the first 15 minutes. Let me discuss some important points about blood transfusion. First, check the patient's chart and verify the doctor's order. If the blood is too cold, warm it first at a room temperature for not more than 30 minutes. During cross-matching, there must be at least two nurses Check the serial number, blood type, blood component, RH factor, expiration date, and the patient's name. Invert the blood bug gently when mixing. This is done to mix the cells with the plasma. Use only plain NSS. Sterile technique must be observed. Maximum time of infusion is 4 hours. It must be KVO at around 10 drops per minute for the first 15 minutes. Monitor the patient closely for the first 15 minutes and assess every 30 minutes. If positive adverse reaction, stop the blood transfusion immediately. The most common complication to occur for the first 15 minutes is the hemolytic transfusion reaction. It is the incompatibility between patient's blood and the giver of the blood. Its manifestations are chills, dyspnea, fever, chest pain, and tachycardia. Question number two. The correct answer is letter C. The patient should inhale slowly and continuously to keep the balls up. It should also be used before meals. Here's a short discussion about incentive spirometry. It is also called sustained maximal inspiration device. It is a device used to improve pulmonary ventilation, loosen respiratory secretions, expand collapse alveoli, and to counteract the effects of anesthesia or hypoventilation. The proper instruction is to let the patient exhale normally, then put the device and seal it tightly using the lips. Inhale deeply and slowly to elevate the balls. Hold it for around 6 seconds, then remove the device and exhale normally. Question number 3. The correct answer is letter D. 
Patient X result is metabolic alkalosis, Y is respiratory acidosis, and patient Z result is respiratory alkalosis. If you have difficulty in interpreting ABG result, you can check this link or the link in the description below. I have some easy tips to help you. Question number four. The correct answer is letter B. The patient should cough deeply and expectorate it into the container. It should not be calmly and don't just spit into the container. Key points to remember about sputum collection. It must be collected in the morning before the patient drink or take a meal. Instruct to perform oral care using water before and after collecting the specimen. The patient should perform deep breathing for at least three times, then cough deeply after inhalation to be able to expectorate the sputum into the specimen container. Lastly, send the specimen immediately to the lab. Question number five. The correct answer is letter A. Pink tinge urine 24 hours after the irrigation is normal. What is cystoclysis? It is also called continuous bladder irrigation. It is done to prevent urinary tract obstruction by flushing small blood clots that is present after prostate or bladder surgery. A triple lumen catheter is used and closed method is the preferred technique because it has a lower risk of having a UTI. The purpose of this procedure is to maintain patency of urinary catheter and tubing. Question number six. The correct answer is letter C. A is purposive non-random sampling. B is systematic random sampling. And D is cota. Question number seven. The correct answer is letter D. Conduct a pilot study. Pilot study is the small trial version of the study to be conducted before the actual research. This is to prevent future mistakes in the data during collection and analysis. Question number 8.
The correct answer is letter C. The purpose of a framework is to manage the progress of the study and connects the findings to nursing's body of knowledge. If you have difficulty in understanding nursing research, you can check this link or the link in the description below. It is a short discussion and I hope that it will help you to understand this topic. Question number 9. The correct answer is letter D. It is unethical because of possible breach of confidentiality and she didn't ask for the permission of the patient before doing the act. For professional adjustment, nursing ethics, and law, you can check this link or the link in the description below. That's all for today. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.